Hello students, once again welcome to Bhulanath Academy. In mechanical properties of fluid students, one more question is coming in board examination students. What is hydrodynamics? Distinguish between streamline flow and turbulent flow. Understanding students, these questions are coming pre marks question. What is hydrodynamics? In last video students, we have seen hydrostatics. Now opposite students, here it is hydrodynamics. That means water is what? In flow. At that time, what are the properties? So what is hydrodynamics? Distinguish between streamline flow and turbulent flow. At that time, now when water is in flow, the flow is two types, streamline flow and turbulent flow. The branch of physics, now we are going to write the definition. So this way you have to write in examination students. The branch of physics, which deals with the study of properties of fluid, but in motion. Yeah, the motion word is very important students in motion is called as hydrodynamics understand students now there is a two type of motion students streamline flow and turbulent flow that we, it is given in distinguish between the streamline flow and turbulent flow now streamline flow students what happened in streamline flow the smooth flow of fluid with velocity smaller than the critical velocity smaller than critical velocity is called streamline flow or laminar flow of a liquid understanding what is the definition you can write streamline flow definition the critical velocity if flow is velocity is less than critical velocity, it the smooth flow of fluid. So that is called a streamline flow. Turbulent flow is when the irregular and unsteady flow of fluid when its velocity increases beyond the critical velocity is called turbulent flow. Understanding students, this is the turbulent flow. Understanding it is not irregular flow, unsteady flow of fluid is called as what turbulent flow. Now students in the streamline flow, velocity of fluid at a given point is always constant. When you see the velocity students, it will be always constant at everywhere. Here in turbulent flow, students, the velocity of fluid is at any point does not remain constant. Opposite of this, two streamlines can never interact. That is, they are always parallel. Understanding students? Here in turbulent flow, same point, some point, some point, and students, the fluid may have rotational motion which gives rise to eddies. Understanding? Then it will rotate like this. So I, that is called as what? ED. Understanding students? All the streamline will be parallel to the axis of tube they are parallel to the axis of tube in which tube it is flowing the flow tube lose its order and particle move in random directions so these are the very important instruments this way you have to write down the answer now students one more question is there students sometimes they are asking this is for two marks question sometimes what is Reynold number the velocity beyond which streamline flow becomes turbulent that velocity is called critical velocity. You know the students, what is the definition of the critical velocity? The velocity beyond which streamline flow becomes turbulent. It's called as what? Critical velocity. So critical, C for that we are writing small c. Velocity we are writing v. So critical velocity is nothing but Rn eta upon rho d. Where Rn, Rn is called as Reynolds number students. Reynolds number students you can write. So what happens students? You cross multiply. You will get v critical velocity into rho into d upon eta is called the Reynolds number. Here we see the critical velocity of fluid, R and Reynolds numbers, eta is coefficient of viscosity, rho is the density of fluid and d is the diameter of the tube in which water is flowing. This way students you can write down the formula of Reynolds numbers. This way you can calculate the Reynolds number. Understand students? Now students one more question with students in examination they are asking explain the term viscosity and viscous drag. This is 4 marks question students. Explain the term viscosity and viscous drag. For that students how you are going to write the answer students first you write what is viscosity. A friction between within the fluid you are talking about the friction within the fluid and its surrounding that is the wall of the tube the friction within the fluid means water with water the friction within the whether it is water or it may be and the fluid also the friction within the fluid and its surrounding this property of is called as viscosity this friction is nothing but is of a fluid is called as what viscosity the friction within the fluid and its surroundings this property of fluids is called viscosity Viscosity is the that property of a fluid by virtue of its relative motion. This is the motion, which means relative with respect to this uh, one layer to another. So we are talking about relative motions, uh, how it is related. The viscosity is the property of fluid by virtue of its relative motion between different layers of fluid experience a dragging force. Understanding, students, how it is dragged. It is dragging force this force is called this is called all as what viscous drag understanding so now see how it is see the different types of layer system the 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 layer which are present on the uh, bottom is that is stationary layer it will not flow understanding here the upper layer when you go from bottom to top is the velocity will go on increasing understanding students how see the layers velocity how it is increasing 
as the distance increases from bottom to top you go from bottom to top students how the how, as the distance increases how the velocity is increasing understanding this is called as what viscous drag that we are going to see students now here we are taking students this is the velocity at this distance v minus d will be what x minus d x now what will be the velocity students at the when the distance increases from here initial x plus dx at the time velocity will be v plus dv when the distance decreases x minus dx the velocity will be v minus dv understanding students these are very important now students we are going to see velocity gradient what is velocity gradient the rate of change of velocity the rate of change of velocity with within within distance dx measured from the stationary layer is called velocity gradient that is dv upon dx that we have already seen a change in the velocity with respect to distance is called as velocity gradient from the top bottom to top understand students how the velocity is changing so rate of change of velocity with distance is called as what velocity gradient coefficient of viscosity students according to newton's law of viscosity for a streamlined flow viscous force small f acting on any layer is directly proportional to the area of the layer and the velocity gradient understanding students if you want to find out the viscous flow students viscous flow small f is directly proportional to the area product of the area and the velocity gradient Veloc now you remove the proportionality constant for that you have to put the eta that is a into velocity gradient eta that is the coefficient of velocity is nothing but force upon area into velocity gradient so coefficient of vis viscosity can be defined as the visco viscous force per unit area per unit velocity gradient understanding students so per unit area per unit velocity gradient so the coefficient of viscosity that is eta equals to f upon a into velocity dv upon dx that is velocity gradient understanding students this way we can derive the expression of the velocity coefficient of viscosity coefficient of viscosity is very important for the examination point of view students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much god bless you have a nice day